include the Hungarians in those famous cherry red shirts and just about 20,000 have managed to get into this stadium which uh, under normal circumstances holds around 80,000. The Hungarian team, well the important thing for them is that at number 10 is Lajos Detari from Olympiakos in Greece, the man who cost four and a half million pounds when he signed from Eintracht Frankfurt, very much the star of this Hungarian side, the third most expensive player in the history of football. In goal, Ditzil. And as far as Morto is concerned, well, the man to watch there is their number six, John Buttigieg, who plays his football for Brentford in the third division of the English Football League. An important game this for Hungary because they have already drawn against Malta in Valletta. A point dropped there and a point dropped too in their last home game against the Republic of Ireland. Malta just had one draw, the one point gained for the game against Hungary in Valletta. And that leaves the group table looking like this at the moment with Spain very much on top and favourites to qualify. Hungary, if they can gain a further two points in this game, will strengthen their position in second place. But watch the Republic of Ireland in fourth place. They have three more matches to play at home. So it will be Hungary to kick off the referee, Ari Frost from Israel, with his two linesmen also from Israel. And important for the Hungarians that they can settle down right away. They've had their problems, not least, of course, last year's bribe scandal as the whistle goes and we're underway. Almost 40 of the top players in Hungary were suspended last year after a massive bribes scandal in the country, which really rocked the country's football and almost six of the national side can no longer take part in international matches. The first free kick of the game goes to Hungary and inevitably to take it, it's Lajos Detari. The big man up front is Imre Borda. But a chance for Morta to break. Busitel, their main goal scorer, Carmel Busitel, who got the two goals in the draw in Valletta. Neat football by the Hungarians, they've always been known for the purity of their football, though of course they're nothing to match their great sides of the 50s. Budagig, the man from Brentford, bundled over by Boda, and it's the first free kick to Malta. Referee Ari Frost on the spot right away. And it's John Buttigieg who's uh, got a slight knock on his ankle. All right again though, doesn't need attention. And the ball in fact immediately played back to John Buttigieg who act as a sweeper behind the Maltese back four. The Maltese plan is to try and get a quick goal and then hold on to the lead if they possibly can they're certainly stronger in defense than they are in attack though Buttersil is certainly a man to watch up front the ball back with goalkeeper Clute bright sunshine a day ideal for football and it's Detari moving forward for the first time Lovely skills with Detari. Only Maradona and Hullet have cost more in transfer fees than Laos Detari. An untidy start of the game now. Maltese bench. And that's a lovely ball from Bognar to Haisian on the left. And that's certainly obstruction. Galea, the man doing the offending. The big defender. And again, it's a free kick to Hungary, and again, it's Datari to take it. The header from Boda, but that too going wide. Chance for Morta now to build from the back.
not a good one. And it's back with Distel in the Hungarian goal. Keller. Pass intercepted. Hungary's throw. Keller to take it. Distel. Cosmo. This is Kovac. Bodnar this time with a shooting chance. But again, it's good play by Butiga. Busatil running at the defence. That's a lovely play by Busatil. He's clean through. A chance for Walter. And Busatil puts them ahead. Well, that's a fine individual goal by Carmel Busatil. And after six minutes, a shot for the Hungarians. Lovely play here by Busatil who ran straight through a very square-looking Hungarian defence, fainted a pass and beat the goalkeeper beautifully. So six minutes gone, then it's Malta who take the lead. So the Hungarians now really do have a mountain to climb. Cosmo, the man who's pulled down. As a party, the offender. Bognar with a free kick. Kovacs. And safely over the top by Kluert. Calming things down, but it was probably the sensible thing to do for the goalkeeper. Six foot six. Kluert. And it's Detari with the Hungarian corner. Swinging in. could so easily have been a Hungarian equaliser. It's Kovac, the man who latched onto the rebound. But Kurt scrambled it behind. But a bad mistake by the Maltese goalkeeper. Another corner. And a chance for Malta to get it clear. Well, a real chance then for the Hungarians to come back into it. foot is too high and it will give Hungary another free kick Bognar the man who uh, got the knock on the head and again it's Detari this time on the right hand side to take the free kick that's a good header but it's just wide and that time it was Imre Borda who put it just over the top beautifully curled free kick Boda getting the header, but a foot over. And all the pressing coming from the Hungarians. And that's a lovely ball to Heysian on the left. The chance for him to run at the defender. He's got pace, Heysian, but again he's blocked. And this could be a booking for John Bettiger. And indeed, indeed it is. Referee Arnie Frost goes for the yellow card and Budiger goes into the book free kick again to Hungary and again it's Lajos Detari to take it floated this time and Kurt is nowhere for that one well the goalkeeper came and it was Kovacs who got the header and Kurt was nowhere near it Kovacs Gets it back to Keller. Still no fluency in the Hungarian football, though. They've been completely shaken out of their strides by the Malta goal. Can they now launch an attack down the right through Cosma? Keeps it in play. Wins a throw in. Bognar this time. Wriggled through two. Gets a corner out of it. No, in fact, it's a goal kick. And disappointment in the end for Bognar. 
who plays his football for Toulon in France. One of three Hungarians who plays his football outside of Hungary these days. And it's Budiger who will take the goal kick for Malta. For some reason, Kurt, the goalkeeper, not taking the goal kicks. Disto for Hungary. That's neat. Help gone by Detari. And another free kick for Hungary. The first half has been littered with free kicks, most of them around the uh, Maltese penalty area. And it will be another chance for Detari to try something from just outside the area. That's when Scary moves away for Malta. So Detari, first one blocked. Cosma, Detari again. And the corner kick rather needlessly given away by Gauci. But uh, he wasn't to know who was behind him. And uh, a bit of urgency now as Detari takes the corner. Bognar up there. Back to Detari. Saved with his legs, I think, by Cluet on that occasion. The ball played back across, and I think it was uh, scary for Malta, in fact, who got his head to it. Back it goes to Detari, who's just taken the corner, meets it beautifully on the volley, and indeed it was Cluet who saved with his legs. So, nearing half-time now, and still Malta lead by one goal to nil, and still the Hungarians can't really get anything going. It's been a, a disappointing showing from the Hungarians. Detari, who's come deep this time, tries to find Heysian on the left, but uh, that's not a good ball. And the crowd starting to get just a little on top of the Hungarians. And uh, as we approach half-time then, a real shock for the Hungarians. A lot to do in the second half. As the whistle goes, it's Hungary nil, Malta one, and you can join us again after the break. Just as referee Ari Frost prepares to get us underway, and a real mountain for the Hungarians to climb in this second half. A one nil down to Malta, who in the first half, after they got their goal through Busetil defended very stubbornly indeed and in spite of the Hungarian pressure they just couldn't pull the goal back and the cheer you hear is for a substitution which has been made Varga from Honvid has come on number 15 and he's in the action right away pulled down by Busetil so the first free kick of the second half to Hungary Hungarians second in group six behind Spain at the moment, but really struggling. Remember, they're without six of their usual national side following the bribe scandal at the end of last year. And as a team, they really have looked disjointed. Early pressure from them now, though. And again, the substitute, almost breaking through on that occasion. Keller for Hungary easy one for Kluwet so far apart from one or two crosses and a few back passes has been largely untroubled a slightly brisker start by the Hungarians in the second half Kovacs haven't seen much of Malta as an attacking force since they got their goal Detari that's a neat ball from him promising build up on the right for Hungary and they win the first quarter